Hello and welcome for my first English review, and maybe the last. In this review, in this video, I want to show you how to finish a print with longer around 30. You see, I can use C2Box in Linux. It's a version caused some problems with the plugin. You can see I can do all the operation, but I I can save for my printer. When I save for my printer, I can find the file in the folder. <laughs> so I use the Windows version, and with this version, no problem. I don't like hear me talking English, but I do this for Brian Smith. I don't want you must learn French, so I can do this in little English. So I want to show you how you can finish a print with the longer orange 30. There are less problems with this printer than if you use the IFDM printer. But you have something to do to have a perfect print. You must always watch the print, you can see this in another video, but this is a French video, so sorry. You can remove the support with hot water, it's very simple, before you use the UV, but you see you have always mark on the print, but I see you how you can make them disappear.
when support and remove you can see always mark on the print you can see them on bottom of the print when all support are removed i can wash the print in water and after i can use uv to make it harder Because it's a big piece, I must rotate it under the UV lamp, because it's small UV lamp. I must change this method. I must change this lamp to get a bigger one, or I can constrict it myself. I think for the next video I can translate in subtitle, it's more simple for me. <laughs> for the beginning, you can use a cutter. A cutter is very useful because you can remove a lot of mark and very easily. After you can use sandpaper, with sandpaper you can sand down and have all the mark be removed. I use a water paper for sanding because if you use sanding too much you can melt the plastic of the print. After sanding, you can use a primer. After the primer, you can sanding again. And uh, again, uh, use a primer. You can do all this step again and again, since all the marks are removed. After sanding, you can use scotch to mask your print.
you see here I use two colors, one for the bottom, one for the Iron Man. You can see I use a bomb and it's very important for masking because you don't control where the paint is going. You see, I sanding the name, it's better to see it. After I mask the bottom of the print, because I want to paint the Iron Man. It's the same technique as before, but I don't mask the same part of the print. I must repair the hand because I broke it. But with some glue it's very simple. I use a copper paint in bomb painting, thing to begin out of the print and finish out of the print too. Finally, I remove all the mask and you see the print is finished. A little gift for Christmas. <laughs> if you like this video, even if my English is awful, don't hesitate to put a like. All I can say now is have good print and see you soon. Si tu as aimé cette vidéo, n'hésite pas à le mettre en commentaire et laisse un like. Et en plus, si tu veux que Monsieur Renoir soit encore plus connu, tu peux t'abonner et ne pas oublier la cloche pour avoir les notifications de toutes les vidéos à venir. I, th I think it's my last English video, hein? you know? Ouais, parce que là, honnêtement, oh, m'entendre parler anglais, c'est horrible. On verra bien. <rire>